at VMworld 2019 in San Francisco, and we're visiting with Pivot3. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the company and what you're showing here at VMworld? Yeah, sure, uh, Brian. Uh, Pivot3 is a provider of hyper-converged infrastructure solutions. Uh, we've been shipping hyper-converged uh, infrastructure solutions now for over uh, 10 years. And what we really focus on is delivering a secure, resilient, manageable at scale uh, infrastructure for mission critical applications, uh, database uh, environments, uh, mixed virtualized workloads, and some interesting uh, workloads uh, like video surveillance and video analytics uh, as well. Uh, we do business uh, in over 65 countries around the world. We have over uh, 20,000 uh, deployments. So we're a pretty you know, well-established, uh, well-known uh, vendor in the hyper-converged infrastructure space. And how do you work together with uh, VMware? You know, where do you fit in the ecosystem? Yeah, we've been a, a VMware partner of a couple of different types since our inception as a, a company. You know, our hyper-converged infrastructure software platform that's referred to as Acuity runs on the ESXi hypervisor. So from a relationship standpoint with VMware, we're actually an OEM of VMware since we resell out and build on their technology. And then we also integrate with a lot of various uh, VMware uh, technology programs, like VMware uh, Site Recovery Manager, a VMware Pluggable Storage Adapter. You can, you can manage our hyper-converged infrastructure uh, through vCenter. And then we're also part of programs like VM, VMware's uh, end-user computing uh, program. Yeah, uh, a real focused area that we excel in is in VDI. So we validate with VMware Horizon, we have a reference architecture with VMware Horizon, and then we're part of VMware's software-defined data center uh, integration program as well. Because uh, you can uh, you know, leverage the full VMware software suite, uh, like vRealize, uh, and all and all the VMware integrated containers, you know, all sorts of uh, VMware software suites you know, on top of Pivot3 hyper-converged infrastructure. And so we've been talking to some of the people here at VMworld and asking them, you know, where do you see the industry going over the next 12 months? What would be your answer to that? Oh, yeah, the, well, the, the, uh, the industry is, is obviously moving you know, really fast. I remember uh, my first uh, VMworld 15 years ago, and we were talking about things like vMotion and VMware HA right. and those type of things. And I sit in on the keynotes uh, this year, and it's all about containers and hybrid cloud. The, the thing that's interesting for me is there's a emerging trends track here at VMworld this year that's all about AI and edge and machine learning uh, and, and analytics. And so I think you know, where things are going is there, there's the merging of, of technologies uh, where an infrastructure and operations owner you know, a virtualized uh, admin is going to have to be familiar you know, with a lot more technologies you know, than they ever have been. You know, how to take and leverage uh, uh, hybrid cloud environments all the way to you know, how do I support emerging technologies like AI and ML in the infrastructure uh, to benefit the, the business. So it, it's a really exciting time you know, if you're in the VMware space and if you're a VMware admin because you're going to be at the center of trying to figure out how to uh, take and leverage all of these technologies together to meet your company's business objectives. And um, is there something here at the, at the show that you're showing that we can maybe take a look at, get a demo? Yeah, you bet. Uh, you know, one, of, one of our big themes here at VMworld this year is Pivot3's intelligence engine. Pivot3 is very unique in the hyper-converged infrastructure space and that our software platform has uh, built into what, we're, what we refer to as the intelligence engine. And it enables very simple policy-based management of what can be complex things like performance, data protection, security, and integrating uh, with public clouds. And that's all based upon a lot of uh, AI, machine learning, automation, orchestration, and, and real-time data movement you know, under the covers. So it's all about you know, simplifying the lives of the, of the VMware admin, of the infrastructure admin, so that they can do what are normally you know, complex, time-consuming tasks 
and get those done in a much easier way, but also done in a way that meets the unique SLAs of the particular application environment you're trying to support. So in the booth here, we've got a demo of our intelligence engine that we can take you over and kind of highlight some of the key things that, that, that are comprised in that intelligence engine. That'd be great. So what are we going to take a look at? So today we're at the Pivot 3 booth and we're going to give you a demo of our Acuity data center software. As you can see, when you look at our dashboard, you'll log into vSphere and where a plugin, the Pivot 3 plugin is available. And what you'll see is the overall virtual performance group shows you the overall performance of the system in this graph here. It's going to give you the total of approximately 200,000 IOPS utilizing only three servers. Each one of these two servers have NVMe in it, and we utilize our QoS policy, which I'm going to show you on each one of our volumes. Now you have the ability to have mission critical, business critical, and non-critical policies per each volume, which specifies IOPS, throughput, and latency. So for example, at a minimum, we have a floor instead of a ceiling. At a minimum, you can have 125,000 IOPS specified. And what we'll do here is we actually normally would change the actual policy of the volume with a simple click on the policy, modify, go ahead and choose a different policy, and then we would just basically follow the prompts and then we would modify it. In this case, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna show you where we would. Sure. And then if you come over here, you can actually monitor each one of the volumes. You can look at IOPS, throughput, latency, and which type of workloads. What you'll see is when we modify the policy, you won't see a drastic change in the performance that it's giving and the overall system doesn't even really notice that any changes have occurred. And it's simple, it's easy, and it's highly performant. Thank you for your time.